your budget allows, and there are so many collectors. I know that I love his pieces, and I like cherry pick my faves and have them in beautiful tableaus. This is brand new today. This is a sale price, Christmas in July. We have a holiday return policy in place until the end of January of 2019. One of your choices is the snowman with the bow. He's nine and a half inches high. We will go through all details in a moment, but he is $45.89, three easy payments of $15.30. They are three-dimensional, there's detail, 360. And then your second choice is the snowman decorating the tree. He's $49.89, and he's three easy payments of $16.63, the easy pay opportunity on this goes away at the end of the day, which essentially means if you decide that you want to buy this tomorrow, the sale price is still there, but it's, you know, the one lump sum. Reminding you of the holiday return policy, reminding you that you actually even have free exchanges too. So if you pick this up for a gift for someone and they decide they want the bow instead, that's a, that is easy to do and it's free both ways for you to send it to us and for our, us to send the return. So Jim Shore is with me. We have about nine more minutes, okay. and I want you just to tell us stories, and will you walk us through each one of them? Because I think we just all love sit sitting at your knee and listening. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a wonderful storyteller. Well, That's what these figurines do for us. Well, I tell you, you know, this once again, these are from my snowman collection, and they actually come from two two separate collections. Okay. So the the uh, the approach to each of them is a little bit different. The snowman collector out there is like a no-brainer. <clears throat> These are two beautiful and unique pieces. <clears throat> and if you collect snowmen, I would, I would urge, honestly, I mean, I, I would urge you to just, um, you know, pick up both of these if you are a serious collector because uh, they're, they're different, but they are unique in their own way. Mm -hmm. And for instance, the one you're looking at right now, now I, I, intentionally put glitter on here because I wanted it to be yes. have sort of a Victorian flavor. So you can see the way he's dressed with this kind of, you know, wainscot thing and yes. the uh, and the uh, the top hat and everything, the scarf. And what color is predominant on that? Huh? Purple? Huh? Whose favorite oh, yeah. color is purple? I bet you Douglas bet. knows your favorite color is purple. <laughs> Douglas just so, called us, so that's a shout out to you, sir. And the uh, you know the, the decorations on the uh, on this garland, you know, that he's yes. got here. That's that's you know beautifully done, and I'll tell you what, the sculpting on this. I, the, one thing I like to point out is the detailing on a lot of the these these little small details the work. that sort of you overlook until you actually start looking at the piece. This kind of thing, the, the decoration on the the scarf. You know, I mean, that takes some doing to do that. I guarantee mm -hmm. you. You know, and it's just it's that's to me that's the interesting thing about what I do. And it's also, I think, it makes the piece the interesting thing for folks out there that collect it to actually look at it, you know. But with the little, I love it's blowing in the in the breeze. Yeah. the scarf is blowing yeah, in the wind. it's got dynamics. It's, got movement. it's mm -hmm. movement. It's yeah. like a snapshot in time, and and that, you know, that adds another dimension to it. And also, it sort of separates it from what is traditional folk art, which is kind of static stoic mm. and so forth mm -hmm. and and that's primarily because it was done by by people who really weren't artists they were just doing something you know with what they had to come up with something pretty right and they did the best they can and it sort of morphed into this recognizable style as folk art and that's i love folk art because it's got a right. it's got a simplicity it's got an innocence that you don't find in any other area of artwork and because they weren't looking for a commission or a gallery or whatnot they just want something pretty that was pretty and uh and so that's our that's our purple lovers one can yeah. you give us a few details on this one okay, one more thing I oh yes out. please have see, at it see the patterns there once oh, again oh yes I, the quilt pattern once again that's an eight-pointed star now oh, that's not yes. what jumps out at you unless you concentrate on the fact that you're looking at an eight-pointed star then it becomes very evident see what i'm saying mm -hmm. see the eight one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So it's that it's that pattern, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of different ways that that pattern is established with squares and triangles when you're putting a quilt together. Mm -hmm. This is one of them, and it uh, it always fascinated me because you look at that and you see different things depending on what you concentrate on. If you're concentrating on these corner squares, that is becomes predominant. If you're if you're concentrating on sort of the checkerboard pattern that's created like this and this 
that's what becomes that. You know and, what it reminds me of? What? It reminds me of those pictures you look at where you say, do you uh, see the older <laughs> woman or the younger woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's just where you, exactly. what you focused on, exactly. but they're both there. And it makes, yes. it, it makes an interest. It's an mm -hmm. interesting pattern to look at because you can shift depending on what you concentrate on. That's what you'll see. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Uh, and then the and then, snowman with the tree. Now, the snowman with the tree. Now, let me tell you, there's a lot of detail on this, and there's a lot of work gone into this piece, you know, because each one of these little things is in pretty high detail, and each one is almost like a little project of its, <coughs> all by all themselves. By itself. You know, and uh, of course, who, who better to decorate a, a, a Christmas tree a than, tree than, maybe than you. Yeah, well, <laughs> with the help of a snowman. Uh, so this statue in and of itself happens to be um, eight and three quarters of an inch high. I love that we've got the ornaments here. I mean, they're so detailed. Look at the gingerbread man. Oh my gosh, the gingerbread man is so pretty. And you even have the, you know, old timey Christmas lights. Oh yeah. You know, the shape of the Christmas lights and ornaments, you know, ornaments are so dear to all of us because an ornament could be from your Nana, from your sister, for your, from your auntie, you know, the person who gives you that ornament is always the one that you're remembering. Jan is a ornament collector. Oh, Jan, it's, she is. Yeah, yeah. The famous and Jan so, is Jim's wife, just so you know. Yes, indeed. Mo <laughs> most of the folks out they there know. That know me they know, know her. Really? Oh, you talk about her that much? Well, I'm teasing you. Of course we do. You know. Hi, Jan. Jan's away sailing on a boat yeah, right yes, now. Yes, she is. Yeah, okay. And, uh, so and I'm, tell I'm us. here having fun with uh, one of my you. favorite people. But okay, so um, her, her collection consists of everything from you know, ones from the dollar store yes. to, to German antiques worth, you know, oh, a lot of money. And, and we put them all together, mix them all of up. Of course. In the 12 trees that Jan decorates during Christmas. Um, does she like Christmas a little bit? She's a Just force a of nature. When it comes, <laughs> if, if you're in the house and you don't move, you get decorated. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. That is uh, just the best. But now, candy you know, cane. Yeah, there you go. See, it's got it all. And now, and, and in, in a, a reasonable amount of detail, there's there's something to look at over this entire piece. So it's a real, look at the it's thing. it's kind of a real, um, you know, buffet of color, you might say. It is a cacophony. Now, Can we go with cacophony? That's a great it's word. One of my favorite words. Cacophony. I thought yeah. it was cacophony first, but it's not. <laughs> That's the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Just yeah, FYI. Yeah. Um, I the that presents too. that you've done. No, I know you did. Uh, and look at it, it's um, our soldier. That's like from that's like from the sugar from from fairy. Yeah, kind you of. know, and, and you know, you got the little the bunny rabbit. And, the bunny and, uh, rabbit with the ball. Yeah, so there's <gasps> it's it's interesting. I mean, it's just a, a lot of good stuff. And then you got this little rose mulling bit down here with a little bit of purple thrown in. And then this is a whirly gig or pinwheel uh, yes, pattern. Yes, it is. Yeah, and uh, that's that's that was a common pattern, you know, back uh, when quilters were doing handmade quilts too. Uh, a lot of quilt and because for one thing it's easy it's easy to create the pieces that go together to make that to quilt. make the whirly so mm. a lot of times they would use squares and triangles because mm -hmm. they're easy yeah. you make a square you cut it diagonally right. you got two triangles. triangle it's good you stick them together in different yeah you know, different ways and you come up with these different patterns and i must say the the designers back in those days were just ordinary folk right. that they would get together and they'd and have a, they'd have a good time doing something that was a necessity. Right, functionality, warmth. They, they needed a, right. a blanket. Right. And they would repurpose, you know, stuff. It might be feed sacks or it might be, you know, the, the clothes old that were from, mm, from, old from two mm -hmm. generations ago. Mm -hmm. See, we started actually, you know, creating fabric in this country in 1818. Mm. So, you know, the, a lot of the stuff from the mid 1800s was actually, you know, European fabric or homespun or right. hand woven and that kind of stuff. So it's it's interesting to analyze a, a good vintage quilt and kind of be, do a little detective work. That's what we've done and I use so many of those patterns on here and the quilters out there that, that you know that do this stuff routinely, they'll recognize all these things and they'll appreciate the fact that these things are real patterns and they're not just, you know, something that's it's not phony, I put it that right, way. Right, exactly. Yeah. They're authentic yeah. patterns. Uh, and they have a historical context and perspective. So this one, of course, is the snowman that's decorating the tree. And I feel like, you know, obviously, and these are going anywhere. They're, they're going to be conversation pieces. 
they they will fall in beautifully if you have a garland in the centerpiece of your table if you want to put this in an entryway if you want to put this you know in the guest room because we're having company so many times you know i, I feel like there's always a need to have something in the kitchen because we're always joining and and having Absolutely. fun in the kitchen i mean that's kind of where a lot of the work is taking place we're going to be making big meals for 13 that's always our posse gets together it's 13 people i feel like every time we go home to vacation for the holidays what we do is eat open presents we sing we play games we tell stories we eat open presents like it's like you only we, eat, we, wash Let me we tell eat we wash dishes we eat we wash dishes we eat <laughs> yeah we, well, we, well we eat 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 <laughs> then we worry about the dishes right exactly uh, <laughs> But I've got six kids and I've got, uh, you know, 12 grandkids and they all <gasps> so have how many? When spouses comes? If I have no idea. You're like, there's I'm not counting. That, there's people there I don't even know <laughs> usually. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it's an open door. Exactly. Know. Come on in. So um, it is H216942. This is our last couple of seconds. That's it. So your choice of the with the tree, snowman with the tree, three easy payments of 1663, or the snowman with the bow, or three with, easy payments of 1530. With, Remember. With glitter that looks good enough to just lick right off. Yeah. The easy, it's gorgeous. I know. It's gorgeous. I love it. The easy pay Me goes too. away at the end of the day. We want to show you some pictures because we're about to go in two seconds, but we want to make sure we acknowledge those of you who took the time to post to Jim's page. So this 